battery that we're going to be testing out. It's a Brennan's called Z battery. Since this is an unboxing, it can't be official without, you know, your CSGO knife. Out of the box is what it looks like. Nice packaging. EA company name, everything. Right, it's a pretty heavy battery. And inside, it's just a 2S, so it's not too fat. Right here. It is a 50C, so there's high discharge. Um, we're going to be testing this on a couple different RC cars. We're going to have four wheel drive cars uh, that can take up the 4S. We're gonna have two wheel drive cars that pick up the 2S and maybe even that one car that I have. Out of the box, we have 7.65 volts in total. It's telling us what's in each cell right now. 7.64 actually. And that's perfect for storage. So if you wanna buy these and just sit on it for a little while, it's still perfect. But next thing we're gonna do is get these in a couple of the cars and see what they do. Hey guys, so right now we got our Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive and you guys see that we got the Z battery in there. See its logo and stuff. We're about to do some laps around my driveway. So we got 60% on this bad boy and now we're going to put them in this car and see what happens. Okay, the fitment on this battery is the same as every other hard case 2S battery. It's actually a nice thick case. Um, I have a Velcro because I lost the top clip for this, but it's alright. It holds just the same for me. It's a perfect fit in this car. And if you have any of the Tamiya or the Tamiya TTO2 cars, those fit the same as well. So right now I want to show you guys the discharge capabilities. I have my battery capacity checker in here right now and we are at 18%. So I'm going to go slowly and you guys can see that the 50C discharge is truly there and that we barely lose any power at all. Hey guys, so this is the last update about the battery. Uh, it took 90 minutes to charge only because this is a smart charger and whenever it gets all the way down to about the last 5%, it goes really, really slow, so that's why it took 90 minutes. The majority of this battery charged up at around 30 to 40 minutes, so yeah. And the milliamps that's in here is 4632 out of right here, which is supposed to be 5200, but we started charging this at 20%. So if you do the math, it actually comes to over 5,200 milliamps. And you guys saw earlier as the discharge rate was, was really high. And when I was gunning the other car with the brushless battery, we were barely losing about 4% of power. My conclusion about the battery. 
So we've used it on two cars for about three separate days, about 15 minutes driving on each. Um, this car is, has a, a lot like higher discharge rate than the other one and still the battery's held up. Right now it's at 18%. We started at it with 60, but we've been driving for about 30 minutes. You can see that the sun's already down. I got a light on here and we could still run it for the last 10% to it before it reaches the 10% mark where it starts damaging the battery.